Oh, Hello, everyone. I have a question. Have you ever watched Nat Geo and wanted to touch one of those animals or play with them? Well, today I'm so excited because I'm here at the Alabama Gulf Shore Zoo and I am going to snuggle a sloth, I think. At least I'm gonna pet him. I'm so excited about that. You guys know how I am with animals and with you know all little creatures. So I'm really excited about this. I am in the sloth exhibit. So let's check it out. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my God. That's you. Okay, yeah, let's see that. We have kids watching, so. Right oh, look. Oh, wow, his ear is big. Yeah. Her. Her. It's a boy. This oh, is a boy. boy. Yeah, this wait, he's a boy. That's this a girl. speedy. This is speedy. He's not too speedy. No. He's, <laughs> he's not speedy at all. <laughs> well, that just pretty much did him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he is, but we can see maybe he wants to take a bite. So just to show what we have, he showed us. Yeah. So we pulled this from their food that they can go and eat themselves. So we just made smaller pieces, bite worthy pieces. All we do is kind of put it on the stick so we're not close to their hands, but they can eat it. So there's cantaloupe, zucchini. Apples, biscuits, things like that. So, what type of just what kind of biscuit? Like a cookie biscuit? It's going to be. Um, well, it also can be a couple different ones, but it looks like this is probably going to be. It looks moist. Mm -hmm. It got probably a little bit juice on it. Oh, okay. We like it oh, gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, it's kind of. I guess a little bit of fiber biscuit. Okay. But their food bowl that they can go and eat whenever they oh, want wow. to is right here. So we just grab a couple pieces of their favorites and we'll chop it up to try to entice them so we can show everyone their cool teeth. So it's eggplant, broccoli, carrots. Hey kids, this is what you should be watching. This is what you should be eating. Eat like Speedy and 
Sonic. And Sonic. You need to be eating like Speedy and Sonic. Oh, he's like, oh, wait, what? What? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, he didn't even open his eyes. too much so in the wild a lot of people think that they're slow because they're choosing to be but obviously sonic's kind of showing off oh, she's, look at how fast she's moving yeah. y'all she's did you know sloths can move eating. this fast look at her she's dancing so because they eat meat they do have energy like us but it's more a small amount so it's almost like like a burst wanna... of energy yeah. and then it's like okay i need to sleep for eight hours it could be like that but also they're going to want to choose to be fast on their own time so she might be doing this now because she's happy it might be if they want to have a quick spat if they want to get away defend themselves that's typically when they're going to move faster okay. I, I like she's you happy because she had some, some cantaloupe yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, but also i believe that since they have a lot of camouflage in the wild they can move slowly because yeah. it helps make them blend in better. oh look at her yeah Hey, big girl. I wish she would do it. Hey, big girl. Look at ya. And then we'll just give her oh, my goodness. Yes, take a picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Quick, Linda. Come back here. Come back here. You guys, too slow. Oh my god! Yeah, I want to. I want to show her teeth. I want people to see her teeth. I'm about to give her a bigger piece so y'all can see how she holds it, as well as how she typically will eat it. Oh yeah, that would be cool. So if you want, you can do the same and just offer it to her, and then she'll probably take it from you and hold it herself. Oh, cool. Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl. eating and holding it i you know what i never thought about slots actually holding food i didn't either because so, it's not like they have thumbs no not at all um so, so their name see? is derived from the front of their feet so you notice that she has two toes or claws right uh-huh so they're called two-toed linnaeus slots yeah but their backs have three so that's oh. do all of for is the front. do all of them only have two Nope, there's also three toed sloths, which means they have three on both front and back. Oh, that's oh. There's a couple different species of sloths, but these guys are just the two toed. Okay. All right. Are these the only two sloths you have here at the zoo? We have two more, but they're out in the back. <gasps> and one had a baby. Yeah, one had a baby. Monday, right? Yeah, so Sylvia had a baby. Walked oh, yeah. Just it was there. <laughs> Did you know she was pregnant? We had an idea, but it wasn't like we were 100% certain or 100% certain that she wasn't, but we were kind of on the lookout for it. Um, she just She's looking at you, Linda. Up one day <laughs> and it was there. Hi. That is so cool. So do you know how old the baby is? We think that it was, oh, so she's probably thinking that you have food, so just make sure she doesn't grab you. Yeah, there you go. What she's she like, uh, I want the camera. To bring the food closer to her mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, see you. Yeah. I do, I see you, 
but I didn't want you to go. Hi, big girl. It's really cute. Look at you. You really are. Hi. See if maybe she'll take broccoli. Oh, you want some broccoli? Oh, that's a big one, too. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's so funny. And this one just sleeps through it. And she's and she's not she's not doing that because she's unhappy or or it's actually doesn't like to be in this environment or anything. We're not even hundred percent certain. Um there's not too much known about sloths, just kind of in general about them. So it could be a couple different things. It could be a stress induced thing, but also her specifically she'll do this when it's raining and then when it's really sunny out too. So it could be due to weather that she does it for certain hmm. reasons. Pressure changes, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not really sure. Huh. Huh. Do you just do sloth? She's moving a lot. I am in the guest engagement department. So basically anything that you can buy tickets for encounter wise, okay. I do that. And then I am also on the program side. So all the stage shows and all those animals I work with as well. Oh, neat. But I'm mostly been in kangaroos, lemurs. We use that tamandawas too. Which mm -hmm. is a type of ant eater. Okay. Really cool. They're really small, uh -huh. super sharp claws, almost like theirs, but even more dangerous. Okay. And a really long tongue and a mm -hmm. very long tail. So they're really cool. Oh, I'm and sorry. Besides that, um, just the giraffe feedings, the kangaroos, and all those. So how it works with the most. Do you have to animals. do you have to trim their claws? So you can. Um, in the wild, obviously, no one's going around trimming them. Right, but right, for right. us, since we can take care of them better, we'll, we try to use a Dremel. But it's a very loud machine, mm. so sometimes we're not crazy about it, but other times they'll let us, so it's kind of a hit and miss. <laughs> okay. All right. Do they ever get to the point where it's like It'll painful break. to them? or? Um, it's more like when a, whenever we get long nails, they'll slowly start to break off themselves, so that's what they'll have too. Oh, wow. So just... They can get pretty long. Their toes are like our fingers, and then you might notice that their pads are like our palms. So you watch how she was holding that food. Mm -hmm. That's also they're, yeah. mostly their claws or toes is what they're going to be holding on to as well. So it's not like swingy motions. It's literally like jungle gym as we're moving. We're <laughs> that would be the lemurs and they're going through their thing right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> and the goat is telling Telling them to shut, shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen any any lady who has fingernails that have grown so long yeah. that they're curling under? It's almost like it that. Does oh, like yeah. That. So I've never thought about that. Is the is the kind of the same molecular structure as a nail? Like is keratin? Our nails? Um, is it keratin? Like I, our nails? I actually don't know if it's keratin, but it is the same way. So it's gonna be if it chips off too much it can hurt yeah, okay. quick, but yeah exactly so they do have that but i don't know if it's the same way because their nails are a lot sturdier it's almost like a dog claw more so okay. than ours okay um but yeah they seem to kind of mesh on their own okay so do you think she'd take the broccoli maybe you want some broccoli big girl let's see if i can get you it mm -hmm. i don't want to get your one Look, Sonic. Oh, we might say no. We need sometimes like the head of the broccoli, and that's it. Although it looks like she's like, that's what you're offering me, really? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, the other stuff was sweet. What yeah, is this? You know, so you have the goodies. Oh, my goodness. Aren't you a balancing act? Oh, wow. That is so cool. No. She's okay. like, now I'm just showing off. Look at that. Oh, I'm just showing off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I see you. I see you. You can't get my phone. No, you can't get my phone. She's like, what? I'll take a picture of you. <laughs> that is so cool. So how old is she? Um, I'm used to working with Sylvia and Herbert. I think. Sonic is seven years old, and then I know Speedy's our oldest sloth, so I think he might be around ten years old. So she's seven, and Speedy, who it's not too Speedy. Well, this would be Speedy, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's pretty much what you think of typically as a sloth. This is what you think of when you think of sloth. You think of not 
doing anything and just kind of hanging out and very lazy and sleepy and this would be this would be our buddy but it takes them a while to sometimes figure out what all is in here that they can lay down on um but they do like to be up high so they are arboreal right the slots so live in here at night or do you go put them away from it it depends on the temperature so that's why they get lamps on it's a little bit cooler of the day so we have it on for him which obviously he wants but obviously she feels like she doesn't need it well, she's moving around, so yeah. she's got some energy going, and yeah. she's got her producing her own heat. But Sweet. like a male, <laughs> he's up here, sunning himself, asleep under the heat lamp. And they actually cannot regulate their own temperature, so that's why we have the heat lamps on. In the oh, winter, they have to go up where it's more concealed. Basically, it's a heated room for them that they'll stay in which is what we're building in that yard across the way. So that's going to be their winter home. And then in the summer, they can come out into the sunlight and all that. So if you heard that, they can't regulate their body temperature. And so that's why they need to have like the heat lamp. Um, and then in the wintertime, they actually have to go into like a heated room so that they can... Um, so they can stay warm. So there you go, you guys. These are the slots. That's speedy. Not very speedy. <laughs> and this would be our girl Sonic over here. Picking her She's teeth hanging out, picking yeah. her teeth now. Probably had a piece of food stuck somewhere. Yep. Doing you. the same things we do. Well, thank you so much yeah, for course. talking to us about this. And um, we really enjoy this. And I hope that... Um, more people come here because this, you guys, this place is amazing. It is and they, absolutely amazing. And they make their money through the encounters. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. how they make their money. Yes. And it, so the encounter was... Uh, 20 bucks. Was 20 bucks. Yep. 20 bucks. You have to wear a mask, clean your hands before you come in. And um, this is coming and doing encounters um, as a way for the zoo to help generate money so that they can actually keep having the animals here. There's also a lemur encounter it's, and it isn't open yet but hopefully with covid regulations it'll slowly get there soon and kangaroo yes. but and yeah, kangaroo. We have kangaroos sloths and giraffes open giraffes is a 10 to 11 and then a two to three encounter but the rest the other two are open on that awesome Thank you. Thank you so much that was awesome okay you guys let's go check out more parts of the zoo Oops. Thank you. Thank you. You too. So this is kind of like the the kids' children's zoo here. We've got sheep. We've got goats. Llamas. So I have a story about llamas, Linda. When I was a little kid. We went to a petting zoo and um, there was llamas in there and I was feeding them and the llama like kind of attacked me, scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I hated llamas after that. <laughs> the lemurs are really good. But look, you guys, there's a donkey. Okay, let's go check out the lemurs. Now that... Now the lemurs are not open. You can't actually go into the lemur cage here and do the exhibit, but look at how cute they are. Look at them. Hey buddy. Show it off. They want you to. Hey big guy. Hey. You want to play, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at those eyes. Look at them. He's so cute. He's darling. Oh, here comes another one. There's a red lemur. <laughs> oh, listen to that. <laughs> I'll do that and hop on your head. <laughs> have you done this one before? Yes. Oh, you have? Yes. A couple oh, times. So cool. Audrey and I do that. I think that one lemur just poops on this other lemur. Look at this lemur. He's looking like. What did he's he like, did he just crap, crap on me? <laughs> He did. He came over and just she just pooed on him. <laughs> this was gonna say, okay, I'm gonna get this off my tail. It's like, well, that's not cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs>
Well, there's the llama over there. Oh, he got a scary there. looking thing. Mm-hmm. They scare me. <laughs> All right, you ready to keep going? Yep, I'm you ready to keep, to keep going. going. I am. I'm probably gonna um make it smaller. My, yeah, make it smaller. Take this part off of it because this part is a part I always put on. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> that makes it easier. We've got goats. Hi, guys. Oh, are you posing? Oh, okay. Oh, you do tricks. Hi. You see a camera? Look at you. You are funny. Look at you. I see you. I see you. Oh, he was. He was a zoo heart throb. Okay, what's his name? Martin. Hi, Martin. Look at you. You saw a camera and you're like, oh, look what I can do. <laughs> Can balance on three things. Right. <laughs> Look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so good. Well, of course. And look at this one over here. Just like, yeah. What y'all yeah. doing? Hey. This has got pretty eyes. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, we see you, Martin. We still see you. Oh, oh, you coming? Okay. Hey, I'm Martin. Slow, but I'm coming. And how old is Martin? Hi, buddy. Hi, Martin. Hi there, buddy. Hi, Martin. Oh, you want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> say hi. Hey, watch it. Hey, big camera. boy. <laughs> hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's like, you have no food in your hand. <laughs> Okay, dude, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep moving. Yeah, so how exciting was that? So exciting. So go that way and go to giraffes and big cats. Oh, let's go see uh, bears, big cats, and giraffes. So this zoo has been in the making for years. Um, it used to be closer to Gulf Shores, and it was, was it called like the world's the little, little zoo? zoo? Yeah, the smallest zoo, or the little zoo, the little zoo that could. Yeah. Because they moved all the animals during Hurricane Ivan to safety and didn't lose an animal during the hurricane. Oh, that is amazing. The zoo had a lot of destruction, but they built it back and put the animals back, and then they've been wanting to move to this property for years and years and years and years. And so they got all their funding and they expected it to be a little bit um, later than it was, but they were able to sell the old zoo and get some money and had this one underway and moved the animals last year in, um, I think they opened right before it closed for COVID. They were maybe yep, open I remember 10 that. days or something and then they had to close because of COVID. Cause I was excited. I was like, oh, I can't wait. I've been waiting for years for this to open and you guys when we say it was the littlest zoo that could the zoo was like tiny that was slippery oh <laughs> <laughs> the balance. zoo was tiny 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 um and that's actually where i do hold the baby um uh, kangaroos in a pouch. That was very cool. Yes. All right, so let's check it out, guys. Look, this is the zoo. Lemurs are over there on that little monkey island. Oh, we gotta see monkey. Oh, right here where the where the. Um, probably, right there. Yeah, there's should be some there, and then some over there. Yep. Oh, there he is. Oh, I love the lemurs. You guys see him? Right there. Yep. He was sitting there like, hey, what's up? There's a bunch more. I don't know where they are. They're probably taking a nap. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, y'all, oh, this is nap time. Oh, 
That said Wisconsin Snow Snowbird <laughs> Club. Indiana. Oh, this is cool. You can actually you can buy a plank. Buy a plank. Okay. <coughs> cool mush the nerd that helped build the oh, zoo that's cute. that's cute i want to buy a plank there you go that's kind of cool you can buy a bench and they have zip lining here you can um, buy a bench for ten thousand dollars oh yeah i don't see daryl thomas going for that <laughs> <laughs> how much of the plank <laughs> we might know. be able to get a plank <laughs> not a bench <laughs> So the name so, of the giraffe are Benjamin and Nala. And, and I do love me some giraffes. This is a good time because it looks like they're feeding them. Oh, good. Hi there. There they are. I'll be able to see those up close. <laughs> That's Nala. Okay. Hey, baby. Oh my goodness. So giraffes love, um, isn't it acacia trees that they love? I think that's what it was um, that they love. Look at the <laughs> I think we see the draft. There we go. Oh, they're coming out this way. So, next time that you happen to be in um, Orange Beach or the Gulf Shores area, you definitely need to come out and check out the Alabama. Gulf Shore Zoo. It's amazing. It's a great day to come and spend the some time. They have a awesome restaurant here. We just had lunch there and their food is so good. Make sure you check out the goat the crispy goat cheese because it's like my favorite. And um, Linda, where is where is the zoo located? Um, County Road 6 and Highway 59, off of Highway 59, County Road 6 in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Yeah. So there you go. Make sure you come and check it out. All right. Love you all. See you all tomorrow. And remember, you're already a winner because you woke up this morning. Bye.